An alarming trend bringing kids into the emergency room has led to the launch of the Comprehensive Stone Center for treatment at Ch Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Medical reporter Liz Bonas tells us all about it in today's Medical Edge. How come you like pink and green? Green is in the rainbow and pink. When you talk with Autumn, who is now eight, she tells you it's been a tough year. It's all due to what you see here on this ultrasound. In her case, pain due to repeat kidney stones. It's like you're hungry, but then it starts to get into belly pain. She's not the only one. Here, in just the last year, more than 625 kids were seen with kidney stones. And that's close to double of what we saw five years ago and triple of what we saw 10 years ago. For Autumn's mom, Christina, who asked us not to use her last name, it is tough to watch. You feel helpless. You can't do anything to help our pain. What they've also discovered about this epidemic, as it's being called, is that kidney stones tend to reoccur. And it takes a treatment team to cure it. So the team here has launched what's called the Comprehensive Stone Center. It brings together pediatric nephrologists to find the underlying causes of kidney stones. Usually it's the accumulation of calcium that can't pass through the kidneys due to not enough exercise, not enough water, and too much salt. When we ingest a lot of salt, the salt gets naturally excreted by the kidney. But while the sodium goes through the kidney, it also drags with it other substances like calcium and most kidney stones are formed from calcium. But it can also be due to an imbalance of other things, which in Autumn's case is too much calcium and not enough citrate. Which is normally required for crystals, to, to prevent crystals from sticking with each other and getting bigger and forming stones. Autumn's now had stents to enhance kidney flow and a procedure to shatter stones. She now takes medicine, which she says does not taste very good. A little bit? <laughs> it's that <laughs> awful. <laughs> At Cincinnati Children's Hospital in Coryville, Liz Bonas, Local 12 News. So doctors say more exercise, more water, and less salt can help anyone, including adults, trying to reduce the odds of having kidney stones.